the higher your website is on Google, the more money you're going to make. It's pretty simple, right? People click on those top results. But here's the question. Here's the question. How do we get there faster than ever before? And lucky for us, there's new AI tools out all the time that we get to explore. And that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to see if Claude, this new AI tool, which has a new version out, is any useful for SEO, which is search engine optimization, which is the art, the science of getting your website to the top of Google. So let's jump into it. I have not used Claude before, so this is going to be a journey. We go on together with fresh eyes. Let's check this thing out and let's see what it can do. So we're met with this beautiful UI. I love this user interface. It's very nice. Message Claude or search past chats. We can upload files, start a new chat. Let's just try one of their examples here. Um, explain how, no, help me with my Spanish vocab. Let's just see. All right. Help me with my Spanish vocabulary for every turn. Message me. So it's like a prompt that they made up. The first Spanish word is pero. Dog. Muy bien. Here's a slightly harder word. Well, you're telling me with the uh, emojis, but I like it. I like it. Let's go back. Let's go back. What can you do for SEO purposes? Let's just start here, right? If it's any good, if this AI is any good, it will know what we're talking about here. So I, I pushed the prompt. Remember, I've never used this tool. And now we're waiting. Uh, there's nothing happening right here. Do I have to hit something else? Um, tell me what you can do for SEO, right? Let's try that again. Here are some ways. Keyword research. I can analyze websites. Okay. You can analyze websites. Let's just start there. If you truly can analyze websites, we're going to have, we're definitely going to have some fun here, right? So here's the website we're going to push to Claude. This is Bonsai Mary, one of my experimental websites. And this is the article we're going to give it. This article is created with Word Galaxy and check this out. Pretty cool, right? So we put a hub of like 200 philodendron articles out on uh, May 17th and look at the impressions. These are all 100% Word Galaxy um, articles. Not bad at all. The impressions are zoom in. The clicks, you know, are sporadic at this time. And here's the, the different articles. But I'm pretty happy with those impression results. We're going to see if that continues. But let's see if Claude can give us some ideas on LSIs and entities and things like this. Let's ask it, crawl this website and tell me what you think for SEO. Pretty simple, right? Let's just see. Um, Claude can't visit links. Responses may hal contain hallucination. Um, can't visit links. Darn. It said it could, but it can't. So that kind of stinks. But as I'm reading this, I'm wondering, is this truly a hallucination? Because a lot of it seems accurate. So I asked it. I said, um, tell me the first 30 words of this article. And it said here, look here, the philodendron white wizard is a rare, beautiful houseplant. Is that correct? Um, is a stunning? No, it's not correct at all. Gosh, darn it, it didn't work. But not all is lost. I was doing a little research. Check this out, Words at Scale. If you're not subscribed to Words at Scale, make sure you are. Great videos on SEO and AI tools. Look, he did a breakdown of Claude and he had some good things to say. If you see this bottom right AI detection on Claude, it was pretty darn good. So there's gotta be some usability factors with Claude here. We just got to dig a little bit more and I have an idea. Let's ask it, provide LSIs, entities, and related keywords for an article, right? Philodendron Wright Wizard Care Guide. That's the one that we were showing you earlier on Bonsai Mary that was written with Word Galaxy. So I said, here's some LSI keywords, entities. Okay, great. LSIs, nice. Propagation, toxic entities, very nice. This is good. This does this well. Uh, related keywords, indoor. Okay, let's ask it. Provide an H2 header outline for this article. Um, let's say covering all relevant aspects of the care guide. Here we go. All right, here's an H2 header. Um, light requirements, boom. Question, question, water and needs. Okay, nice. Humidity and temperature needs, fertilizer, repotting, pruning, propagating, troubleshoot. Now listen, this is interesting. This is interesting because I've already done the keyword research, like a lot of keyword research on what an article for this care guide should be, right? And this is not bad at all. Let's compare this article, right? Check it out up here, SEO meta in one click. You can look at the H2 headers. This is all the H2 headers, right? I'm going to grab them, conclusion to here, boom. This is what I call a blanket template, right? A very easy way to do a lot of content. So if we were to take this and compare it with this, it looks pretty good, right? Let's go up here, light requirements. We have that down here, light requirements, water in, all these things. I think mine is a bit better, but let's ask it. Let's say, let's just ask the LLM, tell me what you missed when comparing your outline 
with the one below. So it says comparing this, I missed genus species, the appearance, soil requirements, potted and repotted. Okay, so it missed quite a bit, but I'd say that was a good 60% of what was required. What I want to know is can Claude give us a header structure? Because if we can get an awesome header structure, like give me an awesome header structure and I can give you a pretty darn good article with Word Galaxy, right? So if it was going to give us, let's just say, um, give me a revised H2 header outline. Let's just see what it does. So here it is, it's, it's pushing everything out. I like this, it's looking good. It's nesting everything pretty darn good. All right, I'm gonna grab, let's just see how it renders. I'm gonna grab it here, let's push it here. All right, good, let's just take out the white space. And there you have it, very, very nice. Let's just take this here, push it to the keyword. But now what I need are LSIs and, and the words, the words that we want to inject into the article. Can Claude help us with this? So I asked it, I said, look, give me some LSIs and related keywords. And the LSIs were okay, but the related keywords were kind of interesting. I kind of like some of these. Do you even know what these are? Vinin, aroids, calcium oxalate plants. Never heard of those terms before. It'd be nice to inject them, but is it good enough? So check this out. Uh, philodendron white wizard plant overview. Let's figure out what the spruce, which is like a top dog, is doing and how we can do that. Do you remember this tool here off to the right? Harpa.ai. I asked it. This is like it's 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 um, basic extract and research SEO keywords. Very easy to do. Um, it said, look, the keyword white wizard, huge density. Very and here's LSIs, right? All over here, LSIs. And it's doing an okay job because I know the pink princess is not, uh, it's kind of an LSI, it's a whole different variety. I don't know if I want to talk about that. Um, philodendron, so uh, both options right now are kind of uh, lackluster. But regardless, we are going to roll with this article outline and these keywords. Great article, let's let it roll, let's see where we land. As we wait for that Word Galaxy article to cook, I asked it, please provide a 3,000 word article with bullet points, uh, tables, and bolded words. All right, it said, I cannot do 3,000 words. I can provide some ideas. I said, okay, let's just try, let's copy this, provide a article. Let's just say provide an article. Let's see if it can do this. And yet again, it said, unfortunately, I do not have the capability to generate full article with formatted. Her. Okay, but what it's doing is something interesting. I kind of like the, the simple recap of things. Let's just ask it, let's keep going. Can you expand on what you just wrote and build it out better? All right, let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, here's an expanded version intro. All right, overview, okay. Looking good so far, let's see what it does. I really like the bullet points. I like it a lot, very nice, very succinct. Succinct isn't bad. Drooping or curling leaves. So far, so good. Let's let this thing run out. Let's see where this lands. Okay, now it's at the conclusion, propagation. Let's see if I could push it a little further. Can you provide a list of uh, fact with answers that are concise? All right, let's see. Can it provide the frequently asked question with answers that are concise? Look at this. Now we're getting somewhere. This isn't bad at all. Whoa, I like this a lot. This is better than what I can often get with ChatGPT. Very concise to the point. Um, wow, look at that. I'm happy with that. What do you think in the comments? Do you like that? That's that's pretty darn good. Let's take a look at Word Galaxy now. This is done. Looks good. This is a big old article, right? Very, very hard to beat this tool in terms of getting a, an article that is humongous. But here is the article we use with two prompts with Claude, right? Let's look at the words. It's 833 words. Sometimes that's just fine, right? If your competition is not pushing a thousand words, maybe you're going to say to yourself, look, this works for me, right? And that wasn't too bad. I mean, that's pretty darn good. If we look at the word galaxy one, I mean, it's gonna be humongous because we had a lot of headers. It's almost 6,000 words, right? Very cool. So what I like to do, I like to take all the words and I like to edit them down. Like we made this tool, Word Galaxy, for internal purposes, right? That's how this whole thing started because the more words you have, the higher you have, you know, the chances to rank because more keywords, more LSIs. And if we can inject them, right, inject these keywords, right? Calcium oxalate plants, that's in a specific keyword guaranteed that's, you know, a keyword someone's typing in, they want to know about it, all of a sudden we potentially can rank for that. That's why I like large articles. Now, if you're into smaller articles, I don't know if I have a better solution than Claude. This thing, 
I mean, I'm happy with it. I'm super happy with it. What do you think? Tell me what you think in the comments. This thing has bullet points. It has succinct. You just have to know how to play with it, right? How to get here. How did we get here? We did a lot of prompts to get here. So for me, Word Galaxy is the tool where I type in, in my exact headers, my keywords to inject, and I get a huge article. I can edit down, make it so I can rank for a lot of keywords. Whereas Claude, heck, if I need, I need a solution for a smaller article that's succinct, I like it. I like it a lot. So I hope you like this video. Please check out my other ones. This one here is super useful, right? Check it out. It's going to go over a lot of things on backlinks. A lot of people have questions. A lot of people just ignore backlinks. Forget about it. I don't want to know about backlinks. This is going to answer a lot of questions, right? ChatGPT, you can use ChatGPT to get backlinks, right? Check out Word Galaxy. That's the tool that I featured here, as well as Claude. Claude is free to use right now, so pretty darn good. On top of that, I have a master class, but check out this, this backlink video. This thing has so much value in it. So anyways, thank you. We have an awesome community. We just broke 16,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for that, and I'll see you on the next one.